Is a medical professional who has been exposed to COVID-19 and in isolation entitled to short-term disability benefits? When you bought your disability insurance policy, I'm sure you never thought you'd be exposed to a virus like COVID-19. It's turned our world upside down. Many experts expect that we will have a second wave in the fall, so it's fair to say that there are and will be COVID disability insurance coverage questions. It's one thing to have contracted coronavirus and be disabled, but it's another to have been exposed and just quarantined. Are you entitled to shorter long-term disability benefits? Let's talk about those two scenarios. This is a question that I was asked by my best friend's daughter, who's an anesthesiologist in Denver. Despite all necessary precautions, she contracted coronavirus. She's got respiratory problems with extreme fatigue. Her symptoms have prevented her from working and have required treatment and isolation for six weeks. The answer is in part based on the terms of her short-term disability policy and her medical condition. In other words, it's fact-specific. Her short-term disability policy requires that she have an injury or sickness that prevented her from doing the material and substantial duties of her occupation. COVID-19 is a sickness and her symptoms prevented her from working. So, so far, so good. Her policy had a one-week elimination period, so she would be eligible for just five weeks of benefits. Okay, but her short-term disability policy said that she would not be entitled to any benefits if her disability was caused by a work-related condition. She was an employee of the hospital and covered by the hospital's workers' compensation insurance policy. Was Jen entitled to short-term disability benefits or workers' comp benefits? Was this work-related or did she contract COVID-19 in another setting? Now that's the million dollar question. Many workers' comp carriers are denying workers' comp claims on the basis that the employee can't prove they've got COVID-19 at work. Many short-term disability carriers are denying claims based on policy language that excludes work-related injuries. So my friend's daughter was stuck in the middle. However, since she was a medical professional working in a hospital setting and exposed to patients with COVID-19, the hospital's workers' comp carrier did the right thing and accepted responsibility for the claim. But what about just an exposure and quarantine? Let's change the facts. What if she had just been exposed to COVID-19 and quarantined? The short-term disability policy required a sickness or injury that prevented her from performing the material and substantial duties of her occupation. She was physically able to do her duties, but she was prohibited from seeing patients because of the risk she posed to patients. We don't have any court decisions involving COVID-19, but there are some cases involving physicians who've had hepatitis B. One case, Dang versus Northwestern Mutual Insurance Company, involved Dang, who was a carrier of hepatitis B. He was unable to perform certain types of surgery. He applied for his benefits. Northwestern denied his claim because he wasn't physically disabled, he was unable to legally work, and he was barred from performing surgery because he could not get informed consent from his patients. So the court upheld the claim denial. Let's contrast that with the case of Doe versus Great West Life and Annuity Insurance Company. This Sixth Circuit decision rejected the Dang decision. The Sixth Circuit looked to the language of the policy and noted that the policy didn't distinguish between a physical inability to perform the material and substantial duties of the occupation as opposed to social or licensing factors. So the Sixth Circuit awarded benefits. I think the decision would have been different if the state law had prohibited Doe from performing dentistry because of hepatitis or state law mandated quarantine. So <clears throat> what about my friend's daughter? Well, it depended on the terms of her policy, who placed her in quarantine and whether there was any state or county order that required she be quarantined. Interesting questions in the land of COVID-19. Applying for short-term disability benefits in the age of COVID-19 can be overwhelming. I can help guide you through the terms of your disability insurance policy and the application process. Since I'm also a workers' compensation attorney, I can talk with you about the interaction between your short-term disability policy and your rights to workers' compensation benefits. Having an experienced disability attorney will improve your chances of success. Call me today at 727-894-3188 for a free 30-minute consultation.